what I was saying? Yeah. Okay, so I'd like to finish really quick, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing here in Arizona is going to have an effect all over the globe. Okay, because here in Arizona, we are number two in child and human trafficking, in drug trafficking, in arms trafficking. So when we take our state back from people like Ducey, when we take our state from people like Hobbs, when we start standing up to these board of supervisors that tried to certify this fraudulent we elections, we want that. We want that. Hey, dude, I'm, 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 you guys, are, you guys are being really friendly here. Yeah, yeah, I'm speaking. It's called respect, sir. Thank you. We want that. We want that. We want Nick! Because for so long, it seems like it's only the Democrats that turn out in the streets. I was in Atlanta last week. It was me and it was Alex Jones. Do we love Alex Jones here, Mike? Yeah! Yeah! And what's amazing is this. It seems to me that if it wasn't for Alex Jones and Infowars and myself, there would have been no people out there in Atlanta, Georgia. Where is the Republican Party on this? I saw today, Ronna McDaniel came out and said that we'll have time to settle this business with election fraud after the runoff in Georgia on January 5th. Well, how, that, how is that possible? The safe harbor deadline is December 8th. The electoral college votes a week after that. How can we handle that business after the Georgia runoff? There will be no time. And this is the point that I've been trying to make in all these different state capitals. It is that we Republicans have to determine finally who our real friends and who our real enemies are. Yeah. yeah. My allegiance is hours cut or your pay cut or your benefits cut. How many of you have had to take time off work to look after your kids because they're not being allowed back in schools? What the lockdown is really about is transferring all of the wealth from the middle class and giving it to the top. Take a look at the stock market since March. The stock market's been coming back, but really if you're paying attention, it's about five companies. It's about five of these big tech companies at the top that are... to adopt our resolution, which is Purple for Parents goals, which I'm going to go into in just a moment. But understand this, because they adopted our resolution, it is now part of the Republican Party platform. That means that when they vote, they are supposed to vote according to that platform. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen it. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it is so you can hold your representatives' feet to the fire. When legislation hits, you know how they're supposed to vote because our resolution is part of their platform. What is our resolution? Number one, school choice. Yeah. That means the educational dollars need to follow that kid wherever they go. And the parents' rights for the parents to decide where that is. You bring capitalism to education and you watch how fast we take this back. Stopping the indoctrination. Mind you, this is all part now of the Republican Party platform hold their feet to the fire. Stopping the indoctrination. When they removed and, and replaced it with indoctrination, when they removed education and replaced it, they're turning them in to nothing but social justice warriors. Yes, if we actually taught anything like that, we wouldn't be in this predicament right now. So, for one, if you can hold your representatives' feet to the fire when it came to our resolution, that is a definite way to take your kids back, to take this back. Another thing, school board meetings. If we could have one parent for each child that goes to school, we could have a football stadium for every school board meeting. Once a month, one parent for each kid. Do you honestly think they're going to try and do this when they have a football stadium full of parents watching? No. And this is how we take it back. We need to make education great again, and I pray that you join us in this fight. 
and also not only taking our schools back, but on Monday, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but on Monday there's a public hearing with the president's legal team on the Arizona elections, Monday the 30th, 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock at the Hyatt Regency in Phoenix. 122 North 2nd Street. Make sure you're there.
to attack our president, Donald J. Trump. You've got another thing coming! We have a week! The one thing they're scared of, the one thing power is scared of, is people. People in masses. So we will not go silently. We will not stay silent. We will fight until our last breath for this country. You know what's crazy? I'm getting banned from Twitter left and right. I got a nice big base on there. I'm very happy with it. I put a lot of work in to do it. And then, uh, Twitter is, is shit. <laughs> Everybody knows this. Right before a big event, every time with Stop the Steal, I get banned on a seven-day ban. They always don't want the voices to be heard. They don't want people to organize. And you know what I say to Jack Dorsey in Twitter? You are outnumbered! This movement is not about me, it's not about Stop the Steal, it's not even about Rudy, it's not even about anything. It's about our country and making sure that our freedoms are protected. The day we give them an inch, the day we give them a foot, is the day they take a mile and the day they take this country. Are we going to let that happen? chance in this country, and I said it before and I'll say it again, this is the most important election of our lifetime. If we let them take this from us, do you think there's going to be a fair election in 2024? Hell no! Do you think there's going to be a fair election in 28? No! They steal it. As a CEO, as a CEO, I think you know that if there's 6,000 glitches, we need to check it. But Ducey, you're running, Ducey. You're running, and the Arizona people see it. The nation sees it, Ducey. You're not going to be senator after this, Ducey. You're not going to run for president, Ducey. We are watching. We are watching you, Ducey. Send him home. You know what? We are watching you. 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 Everybody, Mike called you, everybody. God bless you.